In this video I will be explaining the typical use of 3D models and some related details about the game engine. The object that you are probably the most interested in is Vol Mesh, which is a 3D model with collisions. I will start by explaining the parameters to the most complicated constructor. This first one is the model that will be displayed on the screen under normal circumstances. The game loads the models from the models directory under the resource directory. This is a low poly model that is shown when the object is far away. If it is null then the object will be invisible instead. However, note that this property is ignored if batch render is enabled for this object. You might notice that if the models follow a particular naming convention, then the low poly model may be selected automatically. This is the model that is used for collision checking. If it is null, then the regular model is used instead. The collision model can also be selected automatically. This is the initial scale factor for the model. This can be used for certain procedural materials. More on this later. For now I'll leave it as off. This means the model will use the default materials from a wavefront MTL file. Enabling this will make the object have collisions but in such a way that the player cannot stand on the object. This is a hint to the collision engine about how the object will move if at all. If it will not move select none. If it will only move on the x-axis then select x and if it's only on the xy plane then xy and so forth. For performance reasons you should select the most conservative value. But it needs to be honest or the collisions may fail to process once the object starts moving. Uh, this object will not move unless you use a python script so under normal circumstances you should choose none. This is another performance property. Objects that do not move, or only move some of the time, will benefit from having this enabled. There are two noteworthy consequences. The first is batch rendered objects cannot have partial transparency. They can have textures with transparent pixels, but they will be either completely opaque or invisible. The second consequence is batch rendered object will not use the low poly model. Instead, it will always render the regular model. It might seem counterintuitive, but in most cases it still leads to better performance. For objects that have a low poly model, you can see how it will look in low detail by holding CTRL minus. This left one has a low poly model, but it does not use it because it uses batch rendering. After creating the object, you can select it and go to the model tab. Here you will find the different models. You can change the material for a given model here. This will show a list of materials that are compatible with this particular model. The game loads materials from the materials directory under the resource directory. The procedural materials are also listed here. Plain means you can manually set a texture in the texture tab. This will use the texture coordinates for the model itself. You can also assign a color. The texture properties are only used for the plain material. The terrain material mimics the way textures are generated for height maps. This map does not have a height map right now, so it is just shown as sand. The rest are used for automatic cave textures. Another noteworthy property is the unobstructive property under the location and metadata tab. This defines how the camera interacts with the object. Near only means this object cannot be between the camera and the player. Near or far means this object can be between the camera and the player, but the camera cannot go inside the object. This is useful for pillars and such. Ignore means the camera ignores this object completely and the camera can go inside of it. This is useful for certain insignificant or highly transparent objects such as grates. So this is the near only mode. This is the near or far mode. 
This is the ignore mode. You can also set the surface friction of the object. So if I want to make a slippery tree, I can set it to a low value. Now let's make an object in Blender. I will not explain how to use Blender since you can find plenty of tutorials for that elsewhere, but I will explain some general concepts that are relevant to the game. The game only supports one texture per material. The texture can affect the diffuse color, or the diffuse color and the specular color. To see it as close as possible to how it will appear in the game, you should set the texture blend mode to multiply. The game can handle two different formats, which are Wavefront OBJ and OVO Vertex Object files. I will be exporting an OBJ file. Models should be exported to the models folder inside of the resource folder. If you are making a mod, please make a subfolder with the name of your mod inside of the models folder. Put your model inside of the subfolder. When exporting, you should use the Y forward setup convention. Something to note is that the game's coordinate system is left handed while Blender is right handed. This will cause your models to appear mirrored in the game. You should also use selection only and make sure you select only one object since the game expects each file to have only one object in it. You may also want to enable triangulate faces. The game can handle quads and triangles but nothing higher than that. Finally enable strip path since the game expects texture names without paths in the material file. After exporting, navigate to your subfolder and find the MTL file. You should move this to the materials directory. Create a subdirectory here as well. It is a good idea to open the material and model files in a text editor so you can familiarize yourself with their structure. If you used custom textures, you should make a subfolder inside the textures folder as well and put your textures there. You can press F7 in the editor to reload the material and model lists. If everything went well, you can now select your model in the list. Note that you cannot currently add or modify textures, sprites or sounds while the game is running. I will go into more depth about textures and material files in a future video. Here is a list of the hotkeys introduced in this video. I will put it in the video description.